and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some monkey business. That's right, we are going to be playing a deck with the new card from Call of the Mountain, Monkey Business. We're going all Bilgewater, all 40 cards from Bilgewater here. We're going to be trying to do a lot of Nexus damage with the help of Powder Monkeys. So we're going to have um, both the Monkey Business and Monkey Idol making a lot of Powder Monkeys. And then, of course, we're going to have cards like Warning Shot and Parlay to be able to get and make it rain. All those be able to deal some Nexus damage for us as well. And then, of course, with all the Nexus damage, we're going to be leveling up Gangplank super fast. So that's that's our plan here. Damage the enemy Nexus five different rounds, level up our Gangplank, and have it be pretty awesome. Um, and then, of course, we'll have Yordle Grifter getting us more warning shots. Um, Riptide Rex at the top end with the Plunder. And then also we're going to have the other new Bilgewater card, Jack the Winner. Another awesome five drop being a 5-6. And every round start, we will create a sleep with the fishes in hand. <laughs> Deal two to an ally, two to the enemy nexus. That works perfect with our monkeys. That we'll just uh, be able to deal two to the monkeys, two to them. Should be pretty nice. All right, so that's our deck. Monkey business. Uh, let's get going. All right, so we're going to go play five games over in ranked with our new all bilge water deck. Rex in effect. Let's go. Yes, yeah, so, so, so much good stuff here with this deck. So we're going all Bilgewater. We got our, our Bilgewater board. They don't have any Powder Monkey emotes, which, come on, right? Get, get your act together. Where's our Powder Monkey emotes? Um, but of course, we're going to have a Powder Monkey Guardian. So we do have that. So that's good. We don't have any Powder Monkey sleeves or card backs as you were uh, we'll get rid of the five drops from our opener if we draw a warning shot I'm casting it immediately and playing a 3-3 butcher called it there's our Powder Monkey. Darn. I was hoping they were to take that and then I'd get to parlay next turn. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to go with a powder keg. I, need more I know my, my monkey business is a little I starting off a little space. slow. But now with the with the powder keg, we get to do two damage there, two damage to them. Let's get to Attack with these. I wish I didn't play that, and I wish that I would have just let them attack first, and then I could have twisted fake gold card this Miss Wraith. I don't know, it's nice to have that thing though. Um A lot of good options here for us. A lot of good options. We do want to be able to have the plunder. Right, so I want to like do damage before combat and then monkey business and get the powder monkey. And then attack with the said powder monkey. I guess in order to do that, we're playing Yordle Grip. Could go Twisted Fate Red card, but we'd go Yordle Grifter, grab the warning shot, do that. Um. This 
Or I just play Jack the Winner. Play this monkey business next turn. Because the problem with playing the monkey business right there, I know we could have, but then that, that first powder monkey just goes away, so we get nothing for that first powder monkey. Never lost a fair game. Killing that Mr. Eighth. Dead in their traps. I want to use the sleep with the fishes. Hmm. This is not good for me. A blighted caretaker. You gotta trust your instincts. I was thinking maybe they just challenge the monkey idol because they get to kill the monkey idol for free, but it makes sense to challenge those things. Okay, darn. So that's why I was thinking I'll go into Sleep of the Fishes on the monkey idol before it died. I'm not with this deck I'm not really gonna be trying to level up Twisted Fate too much. I mean I'm just gonna trade off my 2-2 two -two with their you know get that 2-1 out of here. I'll be fine with that. Riptide Rex of course would be a great card for us to draw. We'll do three damage to them. They're down to nine. We hit the allegiance. Card's not bad. So 12, 9. Not wonderful. Uh. The Risen. Great. All right, great hand for the opponent. GG's. Our hand was good. I, I liked our hand quite a bit. I liked what we were doing. They just had a little bit more power with all of those Wraith Callers. Um, you know, over and over. And so they took it down. They Who Endure cost 7. My Riptide Rex cost 8. And so they got They Who Endure first. GG's. Yeah, Burst Myth Wraith, definitely pretty strong. Um, 
Hmm. This hand's a little awkward. Lulu Shen's awesome. These cards don't do a whole lot. Do I just like send them all back? Do I keep just like keep like a gangplank just to have on turn five? Or a twisted fate? I just send them all back. Okay, I'd rather have this. This is looking better. Definitely like seeing the 1-1 one -one against the Bilgewater deck. <laughs> Love seeing 1-1s. One -ones. Go play some more 1-1s. One -ones. Um, could just repost this turn. I guess that's better than any of these other things. Pretty big play. Mm. Yeah, I want to be playing these monkey idols. Wrong if you work, wrong if you don't. These mon requires a monkey business. again. Shen is so good. People are trying to play Lulu and Zed. I just underrate Shen so much. Not bad. Smell that? A fight to cook Not it. bad at all. We got two. This will make Gangplank four out of five after next turn. Mine. I mean, it was good deny because I, I don't really have anything else to deny. I mean, I've already played my two Mega Reigns in a parlay. Dang. Those cards are awesome. Oh, 
neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. Can Their pride will cost them. Basically, I think I needed this gangplank to be this parlay to be another gangplank. We are not going to be. We are likely not going to be winning this game. have a, a great plan here if they have a you know barrier card for the dragon next game Lulu Shen is amazing best deck in Rune Terra Alright, playing some more uh, Nightfall. I'll have Hired Gun into Petty Officer. Wish I would have kept the. I'd rather have the Jack the Winner over one of these warning shots. Okay, well, getting use out of a warning shot. So that's one out of five for Gangplank. Like having that how we don't have the attack tokens, and now turn two we can attack. We can go Hired Gun, kill the Duskbringer, and be able to attack him for three as well. Or also just have Mega Rain. Could save Hired Gun. Call. I think I wait. Bask in her radiant blessing. I need more hands. Glory. Hoping this works. All right, awesome. So now, presumably, they don't have a blocker. We're gonna just hit him for six, and then I guess play a monkey business second main, or maybe twisted fate. All right, down to eleven. I think the patience helped out.
fine gangplank, it's at three out of five. So we're getting, we're getting like one powder monkey that does nothing. Diana's only at 2 out of 4. They'd have to cast 3 more um, Nightfall cards to level up Diana, which is possible if they just got the one, if they just got 2 copies of the 1 drop. did get two copies of the one drop. Darn. It's like we're going back and forth. Mist rates, we kept losing so many close games that it didn't go our way. The Tarek uh, Draven deck, the opposite. And now this this one. Losing more close games again. Oh, they oh they didn't have the mana because they played the three mana card. Oh, never mind. They didn't have the mana. Oh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's just fine. I don't need to be lamenting over here. Everything's just fine. Okay. I know you're true. Hey, Jersey Jerry. All right, gotta get four more damage across. Maybe we'll steal the Doom Beast? Doom. Doom Beast, yep. Maybe we'll steal a Doom Beast from them. Ooh, I like that card. Get Yordle Grifter. Yordle Grifter. Yeah. You good too, Monkey Idol. Yordle Grifter where it's at. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. <laughs> Get another drain one from them. So while I could drain one from their nexus, they're gonna gain another two here. Let's just let's just drain one from the charger. Take down the charger. Create a new nightfall card in hand. All right, well that that just means they gain the life, but I still create the nightfall card in hand. That's what we learned before. So that this one black market merchant. Turned this one black market merchant also turned into Yordle Grifter and Yordle Grifter and Warning Shot and Monkey Idol and no not Monkey Idol sorry and Warning Shot and Warning Shot and Lunari Duskbringer and this Dusk Rider turned into all of those. Uh, what we got two mana. We were peaceful. Sure, we'll play you. Why not? Of the bounty boy today. Get 
yours. What do you think of the expansion? Do you think any specific archetype is stronger than it was previous to the update? I don't think there are any... There's not really too many old existing archetypes that got strong, that got a lot stronger with the update. More um, introduction of a whole lot of more archetypes with the introduction of the new region. And that's really what we're still exploring right now um yeah just kind of exploring everything of, of all these different all the different combinations with this new region and all the new champions and everything like that so yeah you know more cards definitely makes it more interesting we're up to what eight regions now seven eight we're up to eight regions now and so there's just so many combinations of, of it you know all these different champions and, and everything it just makes the game um, you know, even that much more enjoyable to play where anything, you know, you can kind of play anything. Nice, you've been enjoying the Daybreak and Invoke with Aurelian Soul. Awesome. Alright, so my plan, so we're going to let them hit for two, but my plan, you know, obviously we could play a parlay right now to get rid of the Fleet Feather Tracker first. But my plan is to parlay right now so that... Uh, we get to Black Market Merchant as well. Now, we did just draw this monkey business. New recruit reporting in. That's going to slow me down. That Ranger's Resolve. So now we can do Parlay and Monkey Business. And Black Market Merchant. All those together. A real battle. My selection speaks for itself. Rally. Um, not really getting great use out of the monkey business, though. Playing it right there. Safety will cost you. Ooh, we got pretty lucky My hitting our allegiance. as well one banner one destiny all right get a powder monkey for a nice blocker feel the sizzle um, charge eat up friend what's the rush huh the guilty would bear. Taking a lot of damage. Demasiad has been looking pretty strong. You wanted wrath. Yeah, I wish I had seven mana. I wish I could go Petty Officer and Twisted Fate. Fighting's a bloody business. Let's give them the priority. Okay, Fleet Feather Tracker. So red card would kill two things right now. Yeah, monkey business hasn't been playing too well. I, I I will admit that it hasn't been. I'm what nightmares fear. 
playing as well as we would hope. Never lost a fair game or played one. I'm a people person. All or nothing. Care is the lot of you. Let's get on in there. Last card was repost. Monkey business. Coming in clutch. Charmed, I'm sure. This is risky. Like, if I block here, Repostal kills us either way. Wow, what a draw. Should be exactly six damage. That is. And there we go. Two and two. That was quite a hand for them. So being able to being able to survive all that and, and fight through all that was was really nice. That was a that was a really good quality win. Um We've been playing some some close games. Even you know that one was obviously really close. Our first one and it, and our second one. We've had some really close losses as well. Monkey business did play pretty well there, giving us that extra blocker was important for sure. <laughs> we were gonna win that that game even without the warning shot because you know we'd just be able to attack and then and then rip tide wrecks them afterwards. So we were gonna be fine, but that. You know, just made our life a lot easier. Guess we just mulligan all that stuff, keep the make it rain, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be keeping make it rain against this opponent. I guess we're going to kind of find out. Well, there you go. Grace Claw said, you're surprised we're not seeing more Aurelian Soul? Well, here we go. So I'm playing the monkey business. Basically, I don't know. This all this does is two damage to them. Maybe I'm supposed to just hold the make it rain to be able to pair with the petty officer. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Looks like I was supposed to just save the mana. We are leveling up our would-be gangplank quite a bit. Five mana. I'm to like grant something vulnerable and then challenge it with a powder monkey, but not really a 1-1. One, one. Sorry. Um. Trend of either. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Time to make some coin. Ah! 
We're gonna need our power. We're gonna need our five drops, our Riptide Rex, our Yordle Grifters. Those are the cards that we need. Yodel Grifter, Five Drop, Riptide Rex. Twisted Fate, that one's good too. We need our power. If we keep drawing all cards that cost three or less, we will likely not win this. Why would you not attack with the Trickster? Now there's still some invis invisible units happening. Blow him to the depths. Campfire Studios! We're still here. That is amazing. Y'all get some hype in for Campfire Studios with the wonderful tier 3 sub. Is that going to kill them? That's, yeah, that's going to kill them. All right. Wow, that's amazing. And we just got a game win, probably. We'll see. I guess they can still gain life. No, nope, they're deciding not to gain life. Outer Monkeys. Getting it done. Giving them the monkey business. For 37 months. That is incredible. Thank you. Thank you, Campfire. <clears throat> All right, so we are going to have... Um, yeah, so we're going to have a, a nice winning record here with our Monkey Business deck. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Got to play Got to play our new cards, Monkey Business, Jack the Winner. Um, our deck can do a lot of Nexus damage, as we saw, and that, all that Nexus damage just adds up and keeps adding up. Um, this is pretty good. Both of our losses were super close also, like where we had good hands and the opponents just, you know, just won. Like that's, you know, that's that's card games. You know, that's for Terry. Like that, that'll happen. But this deck definitely felt pretty strong. Didn't, didn't feel like a meme tier deck. This felt like a good um, power level of just, you know, a regular deck. All right, so that's Monkey Business. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you got any comments, feel free to leave them. Um, and, you know, what, whatever uh, combination of champions you want to see, um, what have you been playing that you've been really liking, anything like that, any questions, um, yeah, I would appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Monkey Business, and I will see you for the next video.